So, about 100,000 migrants, as of this month, have arrived via small boats across the Channel into England. And that's a record 45,755 people as of last year. Numbers aren't here yet. I think GB News yesterday when I was on, they said it reached 17,000 this year, but we don't have any official government statistics, mm. obviously because it's going to look really bad. And I wanted to bring up two segments. This time last year, I covered how a bunch of Albanian TikTokers were using TikTok to advertise their people trafficking schemes like it was a, a holiday travel agent. And it was both farcical and deeply disturbing because they were saying, we can pick you up in Brussels and you can be a Deliveroo driver by midnight in Westminster. Very worrying. And then the other one that was last month, a uh, month before last, this was in June, this was about Instagram. And on Instagram, the Wall Street Journal had uncovered that there were paedophiles using hashtags to Instagram's knowledge to share child exploitation material and redirect people to sites where you could purchase children. So these sorts of things are going on on social media. They are going on with the knowledge of the social media platforms, occasionally the government, and there's been utter inaction. And so I regret to inform you, thanks to a viewer who has tipped us off, who has worked within, with, with knowledge of machine learning algorithms, worked within departments that have uh, investigation projects that are of interest to the home office, let's put it that way. He has uncovered a system of Instagram accounts with very large North African followings that are advertising white women from Europe and Britain in states of drunkenness and undress in order to entice those North African men to spend money on being smuggled into the UK. So they're using social media as a meat market for vulnerable girls to traffic men over to the UK. And this is quite the rabbit hole. It's going to be a bit disturbing. We're going to be showing you some of these accounts, some of the videos. And this has been passed on to the mainstream press as of today via sources that I know. So hopefully this gets picked up and, and run with and we can do something about it. But this is exclusive to us and it's, it's a sad situation to be reporting on. This, so we're going to play this without the sound because it just has random North African music over it. This is the kind of material that's posted to these Instagram accounts. It's for our audio listeners, young girls on nights out, drunken, falling over in the street in short skirts seemingly unaware that they're being filmed. Sometimes they will look at the camera, so presumably some of these have been pulled from their own TikToks, but some of these looks like this is from the position of men that are standing around in the street filming them. There are some girls that are being spoken to by police officers, falling over, so drunk, they're about to be sick, and so they're in states of relative undress and vulnerability and being spied on. And all of these are being repeatedly posted to multiple Instagram accounts, all of which which have uh, Middle Eastern dialects with the captions, um, both over the top of the videos and in the descriptions, and they're being shared on the same accounts that have videos of, as we will see later, small boats, men breaking into countries via fences, and this is just some footage as we're scrolling through the accounts right now. I think we can pause that one there. And we can go to just the next image, please. So this is just evidence that this is being shared on more than one account. Um, we don't have the image. Do we have the image up, please, John? Image two of the second video. It's just a screenshot, essentially, of another account that has posted the exact same image, uh, which is quite concerning. There we go. It's just being pulled up now. There. So exact same video. You can see there the vaguely Arabic writing over the top and it's being hosted by another account. So pretty worrying stuff. Um, if we can go to just the next clip, please. So on these accounts as well, the same ones, they're posting videos of the French riots. They're celebrating this. They're celebrating the burning down of buildings. Now, this is alongside those girls. So you can obviously see that there is a, an ethnic tension going on in many of these accounts. You can see fireworks going off. Um, lots of celebratory emojis, intercut with videos of them walking past European girls in the street, opposite them on trains. They don't seem to be aware that they're being filmed. As soon as they look at the camera, it cuts away. Pretty disturbing stuff. It seems essentially a statement of colonial intent. And then it cuts to a bunch of men on the boat celebrating the fact that they're coming to Europe. So, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty worrying. They're, they're essentially advertising conquest like a travel agency. It, it basically is an advertisement. It's, it's picking all the things 
young men like mm. adventure, um, women, mm. um, fighting. It it it's it, it's sort of going into that innate demand that young men are always seeking. Um, if you'd have shown me that video of when I was eighteen of beautiful girls in Liverpool. I'd be wanting to go to Liverpool for a nice out. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 advertising barbarian conquest and the what, how they would see it. Essentially, the spoils of war in these women that they're going to do God knows what to to prospective men who want to break into the country. Is is this the next video, John? If we could just okay, I'll press play on this because this is very creepy. It seems to be advertising the idea that if you come over, you'll immediately get a white European girlfriend because they've got images of flags of various North African countries right next to images of white women next to those men. Here's one. So these girls don't seem to know this guy. And look, grabs his hand and attempts to run off of her. And this seems to be advertised as something you're just allowed to do and actually women would want you to do. These women look very disturbed, but this is something that, oh, and then they're just throwing money about and standing next to the Eiffel Tower and, 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 and wonderful. Yeah, Westminster. They're just promoting a lifestyle to the potential men that will come over, break into the country and plunder the place. And then it immediately cuts to images of violence from the Paris riots, saying you can destroy cities, burn things down, assault police officers, steal their women, and you'll face no repercussions. This is both an advert and bragging. So very, very disturbing stuff. But okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of the actual Instagram accounts. So if we go to this one here. So... If we just scroll down, we've got some videos. As we can see, there's, there's, there's a gentleman who has decided to just film um, himself with a European woman. And you can see all of these comments are in various languages. Same thing. You just scroll down. You see lots of trends. And these are more girls on a night out. And these are interspersed with videos of men just on the boats. It's, it's a marketing campaign. And again, this isn't unique to one account. We've got another one here. More girls in state and undress. And oh, look, what's that? Oh, it's actually a video of men just breaking past the border fence. Right. Bit, bit, bit worrying. I mean, I did see another video as well. I think it might actually be on this account where it might well be this one where they've got a video of just girls walking down the street. And one of the accounts, I think this might be it. Yeah. Young commodity is what one of the replies is in whichever Arabic dialect that is. So this, this betrays how these men think about these women. And lots of the other comments are God willing, as in God willing, I will get to the UK, get to Europe, be able to commit violence and, and have access to these women. So it's so pretty worrying stuff. And this is, this is lots of just these accounts that, that our viewer tipped us off to. Um, as we scroll through, there are just miscellaneous videos of violence. There are videos of what looks like migrants washed up face down on beaches. More, more videos of just men breaking into the country via small boats. There's another account right here. And, and my question is, okay, so, so the Home Office is apparently aware of this trend. Um, Instagram, probably aware of this trend, considering they're aware of all the child trafficking that's going on on their, on their website, because they actually put warnings over the posts that said, this may lead you to child exploitation material, would you like to continue? It's like, well, hang on, why are you giving them the option to say yes? Mm. Why haven't you taken down this content? Why haven't you reverse traced the IP addresses and handed them over to the relevant authorities who should be doing their job by taking this stuff down? But, but no, adverts for people trafficking and, and the intent to uh, attack young, vulnerable, drunken girls so it seems to just be the order of the day on these social media platforms and, and something the government is just, just willing to tolerate, uh, apparently, but, but all right. Um, so what we have here, as I just saw, cycle through the last two, and you can go and check out these handles for yourself. So that's why I'm flashing them up on screen, just so just so we cover all our bases, and so that we aren't just accused of of making things up and and being terribly racist to these men who seem to declare their intent to just want to assault European and, and British girls. Um, can we can we go to the images, please, John, that, that we were forwarded? Because um, we were oh here here it is yeah wonderful. So our our source actually forwarded us um, images that he's attempted to translate the captions of. So there are some very disturbing ones. Um, curse keeps moving. There we go. Okay, yep, no problem. Go for it, John. Fix that. 
Fantastic. There we are. So, there we go. Tomorrow, God willing, as in, I will arrive in the country. Um, I can't even read that caption out, but F every girl who thinks her butt is more beautiful than this one. So, again, declaring sexual intent. And then there's a, a video here of the burning down of France. Quote, as you condemn, you shall be condemned. So they're declaring some kind of vengeance or ethnic or religious war on the countries that they're saying they want to go to via these small boats and, and break in using the fences off. So, so yeah, pretty concerning. So when I, when I spoke to the relevant source on, on this, um, he gave me some information. He said he stumbled across this because of the algorithm that he used and he was able to retrace the hashtags. And he actually said that he used a North African VPN. And as soon as he did that, Instagram started recommending all these accounts in its feed. So they, they found a way to game this and target it specifically to the countries in question. And he said the most popular countries are Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, Libya, and Turkey. Right. So this is a very clever marketing campaign that is known to the Home Office, known to social media accounts, and yet is allowed to stay up. And this is declaring predatory intent to a bunch of girls in a state of vulnerability and undress. Now, of course... We would all love to live in a, a civilization where these men aren't prowling the streets and preying on young girls. That isn't ever going to happen. It, it will happen a lot less if we don't import them en masse every year um, without betting. But there's always going to be one or two evil people in the domestic population anyway. So to the young girls, unfortunately, who have been captured on a night out thinking they're just innocently going out with their friends and are now used in someone else's marketing material for an international trafficking campaign, uh, my message would be, don't get so drunk that you aren't unaware and be careful what you wear and keep your wits about you and, and walk around in groups to make sure you're looking out for each other because you can actually, you never know where these men are. You can just try and take relatively sensible safeguarding procedures. But the fact that this is happening with the knowledge of the government, does it not just show that all of our institutions are morally bankrupt? What, why, are they, why are they not helping people? I, I have absolutely no answers for this. I think some of this... It's slightly disturbing. It's not as disturbing as I thought it was going to be. Um, a lot of this is just pure marketing, as in these criminal gangs are making a fortune by attracting young men to come to Europe and they're charging them a fortune for that, for that delivery to getting them to Europe. The attraction of Europe by itself obviously isn't enough anymore now. The money you can make it isn't enough anymore now just to attract those migrants for that. There has to be something else now. And now they're looking at what we do in all advertisement. They're now looking at white European women, half naked. Let's be honest, you know, over the last 50, 60 years, we advertise our women now as basically um, whores. Um, we see what some of them wear. I'm going to get criticized for this, but that's what we're doing. So when, you, when you're a young man, from a culture that women are covered up, are protected by family members. When you're seeing our women, it's like, ooh, easy me. Yes. I'm a young 18-year-old. I'm full of testosterone. I'm dying to get hold of something. Europe looks quite attractive anyway. And the women are easy. Of course I want to go. It's, it's a fantastic marketing campaign. Yeah, and this, this was actually a dimension, horrifically, of the grooming gangs, of where they... they called these young girls that they were preying on white slacks because they mm. believed that because they weren't Muslim, because they were ethnically British or European, that they deserved to be sexually assaulted because they were outside of their out group and they didn't abide by the same modesty standards. So they thought, well, essentially she's wearing a short skirt and she's asking for it. And again, these attitudes are allowed to proliferate at the advantage of an international trafficking gang. These platforms, government agencies monitoring it, do nothing. So are they not just aiding and abetting mass scale human trafficking and the potential assault of girls, as we saw in, in Cologne, in Germany, at, at Christmas markets and the like? But why are our institutions complicit in this? Why have they not taken action yet? Why does it take it being leaked to us and hopefully other outlets that will put this on the air to cause any kind of pressure? This thing should not exist. There should be gunboats in the channel stopping men who are declaring their intention, who are signing up for the ability to burn down your homes, kick your police officers, and potentially rape your daughters. But like the, these, there are boatloads of these men. Why are we not turning them around at the threat of force? But this should be an absolute national security risk because they're declaring their intent to invade. Uh, uh, am I mad? Uh, but, but, but then the, one of the worst bits, and I want to finish on this before my, my blood boils over, this is something our, our editor sent to us, is that 
This is all readily available to look at online. It happened last year with the Albanian TikTokers. It's now happening not only uh, with all these North African countries, but but I'm, I'm sure there's other stuff that we aren't even aware of. And the press, same day, runs things like this. I love England, migrant says as he lands after boat crossing. No. No, you don't. You see it either at best as an economic extraction zone where you can leech off the taxpayer, or at worst, you see this as an opportunity to attack vulnerable women and burn down our heritage. No. And, and the press are just as complicit as the inactive home office and the inactive social media platforms of this because they run interference and try and gaslight the public into thinking letting these predatory men in is compassionate. So, I don't, I don't think they think it's compassionate. I think they're just as afraid of everybody else of being classed as racist. I think the people that will swallow this propaganda is, but I genuinely think the press outlets know what they're doing and just want to destroy the country. I, I, I cannot believe that incompetence is, after so many examples of, of terror attacks by people we have picked up from the channel, I, I cannot believe it is incompetence. I believe that lots of these people are genuinely malicious and they hate the countries that they're trying to flood full of people with declared predatory intent. And so I'm, I'm, I'm going to end that one there before I, I make everyone else very, very angry. But all I can say is I, I hope that shedding light on this brings, brings enough pressure that something can come to it.